Hi guys and welcome to Terminal Velocity. Today I'm going to be telling you my top 10 favorite Super Nintendo games or SNES games. But before we start that, just a quick reminder, only a small percentage of you guys watching are actually subscribed. So if you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe and watch my other videos. Number 10, F-Zero. F-Zero is a racing game and, and it's very fun, high speed racing that's very enjoyable to play and it has a slight uh, like tournament mode. Although it isn't multiplayer like Mario Kart, it, it is a lot faster and more uh, like fun and like thrilling like, to play. And I would definitely recommend it for any Mario Kart fan or just a fan of the F-Zero series or racing games in general. Number 9 Star Fox Star Fox was Nintendo's first dive into 3D games and it worked out really well and it still looks nice even today. Although it hasn't aged that well, it is still a very great game and it's not very easy and it's not too hard so it's a well balanced game and uh, it's just really fun to, it's kind of like Star Wars like. Number 8 Dragon Quest 5 Although Dragon Quest 5 is by no means my favorite Dragon Quest game it is still a very great RPG and a fun game to play for anyone who likes the Dragon Quest series it has a very different uh, story from the other four games before it, and it is the first game to be in a uh, 16 bits. Overall, it's a very great game. Number seven, Super Metroid. Super Metroid is one of the best 2D Metroid games, and a very great game in general. It's probably one of the best sci-fi games for the SNES. And it has a very great at uh, making you feel lonely and trapped on a planet where it's just you and the monsters that you have to defeat and get to the Metroids. Overall, I would definitely recommend it for any Metroid fan or for any sci-fi fan in general. Number 6. Super Mario RPG. Legend of the Seven Stars. It's not often when Nintendo and Square Enix pair up, but when they do, they usually make very great games, such as Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. This is a very great RPG, and plus it has tons of Nintendo cameos and references, as well as having Geno and a very, very great story. I would definitely recommend this for any RPG fan, or maybe even a Mario fan if you're into RPGs. Number 5. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is an amazing RPG that takes some of the normal elements of an RPG, but adds a lot of new things, such as time travel and time paradoxes. Overall, it's an amazing game. I would definitely recommend it for any Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy fan. Um, and overall, it's just very great and has a good story, characters, as well as amazing soundtrack. Number 4. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. A Link to the Past is a very, very great 2D Zelda game and maybe one of the best ones. It has great dungeons, great story, amazing music, a, a good narrative, as well as the, a lot of different exploration and items. Overall, it's an amazing game, and I would definitely recommend it for any Zelda fan who hasn't played it. And overall, it's just an amazing game. Number three. Star Fox 2. Although Star Fox 2 wasn't released until the SNES Mini in 2017, I'm still considering it a SNES game. 
This is an amazing sequel to the original Star Fox. It has a nicer graphics and a better story mode. And I really, really like the overall, the overworld map where you can sort of choose where you go. And it feels very immersive. And I definitely recommend this for any sort of like space fighting or um, just a Star Fox fan in general. Number 2 Dragon Quest 6 Realms of Revelation Dragon Quest 6 is one of my favorite Dragon Quest games and although it isn't generally considered the best uh, in the Dragon Quest fan community I personally like it because of the story how it takes the stuff from the Dragon the five Dragon Quest games before it as well as adding new stuff and how it just has great characters and plot. Overall, I definitely recommend this game for any Dragon Quest fan or just RPG fan in general. Now for some honorable mentions. These were are games that are great, but just barely didn't make the cut from my top 10 list. On this list, we have Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, Donkey Kong Country 1, as well as Super Mario Kart. These are all great games, but they just didn't quite make my, my list. Number 1. Earthbound. Earthbound is probably one of the best RPGs ever made, and it's very upbeat and fun, but also sad and emotional at some point. It has great music, amazing characters, and an excellent battle system, as well as a gripping story, an emotional soundtrack, and just tons of other amazing things. I would basically recommend this to anyone, as it's an amazing game, and there's, it's hard to find some, it's hard to not find something that you, that you like about it. It's just an amazing game. And before we finish up today's episode, I'd like to remind you that we aren't doing remakes in these top 10 uh, episodes, because if we were, then then uh, Dragon Quest 3 for the SNES, as well as Dragon Quest 1 and 2 for the SNES, uh, would both have probably made my top 10 list. So what did you think of my list? Do you agree with it? Do you have some games that you like that weren't on here? Be sure to tell me down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to like it. Thanks for watching Terminal Velocity, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.